My sister's an art teacher and rented a two-bedroom cheap apartment to use as a studio. She never actually lived there, just used it as a place to paint. Since I was hard up for a place to stay, she decided to be nice and let me use one of the rooms. So I moved my stuff in in the morning and went off to work. I came home excited, ready to enjoy my new place. My sister had told me to be careful with the locks, so I locked the door with a deadbolt and chain. I made myself some instant ramen with the water heater in the kitchen and read some comics until it was time for bed. Once more, I checked the door and the gas and went to sleep. Around 2 or 3 in the morning, I heard the deadbolt on the front door unlock. I guess my sister had come to paint. I heard her walk over to the bedroom next to mine, the one she used as a studio. I had checked out that room earlier. It was all empty except for some canvas and paints. I was tired and had to work again in the morning, so instead of getting up to greet her, I decided to stay in bed. I could hear her mumbling and laughing to herself. Man, artists are weird people, I said to myself as I fell asleep again. When I woke up in the morning, my sister was gone and I was alone in the apartment. I got up and got ready for work, leaving through the front door. It was only when I turned around to lock it that I realized, and was suddenly terrified. I never went back into the apartment after that. An old man says to me, Want to play a game? Here's the rules. I've got a bunch of boxes, and inside one of them is the prize money. The boxes are heavy and strong. Too heavy to ever open with your hands. But there are axes and welding torches and all kinds of things around them. And you can take as much time as you want. When you find the money, it's yours. Well, I say, I don't see any way I can lose then. Worst case, I spend a night opening boxes. By the way, he adds, there are a lot of boxes. But if you give me $50, I'll start you right next to the prize money. <laughs> Even better, I say. I take out my wallet and give the old guy $50. The game starts. The prize money is right in front of my eyes. I've been really tired lately, so I took some time off work and went to England. I checked into a nice three-story hotel after a long day of sightseeing and just collapsed into bed. It's around 3 a.m. now. I heard some noise and took a look outside. The police are everywhere. They're yelling up at me that there's been a robbery and murder on the second floor. I'm on the top level, and I can see that the cops have the stairs and elevators locked down, so I should be fine then. I'm going back to bed. Hopefully they catch the guy. My wife was attacked by a burglar when I was on my way home from work. She fought him off with a butcher knife, though. When I went to pick her up from the police station, she told me, When I heard the buzzer, I thought it was you. But then there was somebody else, and he jumped me as soon as I opened the door. You must have been so scared, I said, and held her tightly. There's a road I take on my way home from work that goes by a big abandoned apartment building that they're going to tear down. Apparently a lot of people commit suicide by jumping off of it, and a bunch of my coworkers say that they've seen ghosts. There's no lights around, and it's pretty creepy at night to tell you the truth. One night, I was stuck late at work, and didn't get off until about 11. I was walking home past that apartment when I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. I looked up, and could see a silhouette on top of the building. I thought my heart was going to stop. It was definitely a person. I thought to myself, could it be a ghost? And then they jumped off. I heard the horrible sound of a body hitting concrete, and I saw a woman laying on the ground. I called 911 and ran over there. She was covered in blood and her arms were bent in weird ways. She wasn't a ghost, but it was still very scary. 
I could see a bunch of people looking down at me from above. They must have heard the crash. The ambulance came and took her away, and I went home. But that night, I was way too freaked out to sleep. I called the hospital the next day. They said she was badly hurt, but survived. I'm so glad. It would have been horrible if she'd died. <laughs>